how you doing? It's T. Kissner Jr. Last time I spoke to my fellas, and I was on the topic of how we need to treat our queens. Stimulate that mind, do the little things. But I told y'all ladies the two-way street, because there's a lot of women out here don't even know what to get their own boyfriend for his birthday. Sad, but true. Have you ever been with a man you thought he would never get married and then he got married to someone other than you? A lot of women for some odd reason think that just laying on their back is all a man wants. Like all we want is just sex. Like sex is gonna keep us around forever. No, it's not gonna keep us around forever. It'll keep us around momentarily. Knowing a man's aspirations, his dreams, supporting him fully through your actions, just not knowing them, partaking in them, being his encourager, being his motivator, being his pusher, is a key thing a lot of women do not do. Now, you have to step your bounds when it comes down to a man and his dreams. I'm sorry, but I gotta be honest. A man has to feel like he's leading his own dreams, not someone taking control of it. You have to listen and jump in when you feel like you fit in. When you don't fit in, you jump out and you just listen. You don't stop him from trying to strive for what he's striving for. You don't blockade all his time because you just want to be in his presence. You have to let him be a man and be out here going for what he's going for and find your ways of being in it with him. You in it to win it. And if he's trying to win it, you want to win it too. You ever seen a woman and see a great man too? You see like the way they connect their bond is something special because it's a cohesive. There's something about a woman who really knows how to fit into her man's aspirations. You have to support wherever he's trying to achieve. Don't be a dummy downer and tell him what he can't do. Tell him he can do it. You want to be there with your man inside of the boat rowing that sucker. You don't want to sit there and have him rowing by himself. Because all you're going to do is allow another woman to jump on board and start rowing with him. And now you got a three-way party. You ain't going to like that at all. Women, be a part of your man's aspirations and his dreams. Be the woman he always wanted you to be. Don't argue back with him and tell him how he needs to do something. Just listen to him and let him find his way and then fit in where you get in. Know your man. Take it. No, there's no way in the world Christmas come, birthdays come, or just a random day come and you have no idea what he likes. If you cannot name 10 things that you know your man likes right now, you have a problem. There's a problem in your relationship. You don't, you're not taking right notes. You're too much in your feelings and not being rational about the whole situation. Know him to the point where you know, know him. Be together, listen and communicate on another deeper level because what y'all got is special, but it can even be wonderful if y'all both would take notes from each other. We need each other. We started off Adam and Eve, but now we're just separating and talking to other people instead of the people that really matters most. So women, be a part of your man. Be in it with them. Be that woman that lights up his eyes because he know that you want the best for him and he gonna want the best for y'all. Now, that is just one tip of many small little tips within it. Because all the main thing is take notes and really listen. We need to listen to each other. And I'll touch on that on the next video because I feel like too much arguing is going on and we need to just shh and communicate. We'll discuss communicating and how much is needed. But until then, I salute y'all for wanting to do better. I salute y'all for wanting to do better for yourselves. And always remember, to love yourself. And it's TK Smith Jr. I'll check you out next time. Only God can judge. Only, 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 only God can judge. How are you going to be effective in a discussion when all you're doing is arguing and trying to talk? over the individual and tell them, look, you're doing it wrong. I know what I'm talking about, you do not. That person will no longer want to talk to you.